Hello, I'm Xenocow, and today I have some exciting news to bring you about Starbase. Just the other day, a new patch was released, which it's been a very long time, a couple years I think now, or at least, yeah, since the last major patch. Now this patch is not to the live server, the normal game that you would play, but to a new branch of the game called the Starbase Test Universe. And if you open up Steam and go to your library, you should be able to find it Label just as such, Starbase Test Universe. Just uh, install it, and then you can join in on what's going on now. So let me tell you a little bit about what is going on now. As mentioned a couple months ago, Frozen Byte said they were going to release a patch, and they did. And so if you go to the forums or on Steam, you can find news about it. And we're going to skip all the main features, but the main thing is they did what they were gonna they said they were gonna do at least for now and so we have about half of the planned features for this next step in star races uh, future already available to us so it's the test universe which is now split from the main game we have ship warp we so all ships are able to now warp not just capital ships we've got all sorts of fancy editors um, for station and capital ships so that you don't have to build them by hand an anymore. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it is what it is. You can just open that up um, by pressing escape, and at least for the station one at any time. Um, there's now this universe map, so right now you can see that the entire universe is shown. You can move around, you can click on points and then zoom into them. We have ship insurance, so you can claim insurance on any ships that you've lost uh, without, because previously if you wanted to do something like that you had to ask the developers through the help menu and there's a whole thing, but now you can just do it in-game. Um, they've gotten Siege up and working for the most part, and some LOD, so that's the, the level of detail. So if you look at a ship from very far away, it's going to be in a low level of detail and look kind of blocky, but then as it gets closer, it'll look more and more like the, the actual thing. And previously, the, it had been a little slow, and so they, they're working on increasing the usability of that and making it so that more ships around you can actually look like they're supposed to. So that's what we have right now. And then... Later on, we're going to get Inventory V2. That's the physicalized inventory with lots of uh, different types of crates so that there aren't going to be any just magic inventories anymore. There should be all sorts of PVE, so player versus environment stuff. So there should be things to do if you don't want to ever play with another player. You can still go out in the universe and do interesting things. You should be able to sell ship blueprints. People do do that outside of the game right now, but the developers intend on making a feature inside the game to do that. Um, I'm actually excited about the simplified ship ownership rules myself. I think that will help for, just again, sim as you know, as it says here, enabling piracy and salvage. And I actually, one of the things I'd like to do more of in the game is do a little bit more salvaging. They plan on selling some cosmetics. That'll be good to just help support the game because there are not going to be as many players probably as there were at launch. So especially for a game to continue to be updated. It might be nice to have some some sort of revenue for them. I don't know that I'm going to spend any money, but if you have that money to spend on digital armor, then go for it. Um, what else? The stations will be able to order um, things from out in the universe. So you can see, you'll be able to see on the map, this station wants so and so much bastium, and then you can go and ship that bastium over to them and sell it to that station for a price. There'll be nations that will allow you to have a company that can then build borders and that will actually prevent the warp through that nation, or at least, I don't remember if it prevents it, or at least it'll warn you if someone, once they pass through, um, so you get kind of a idea of what's going on in your area of space. The AI turrets that I think is mostly to do with PvE, I don't know if that will be available for players to put on their own ships. If it is, I, I think I remember messages about it being mostly intended for, if it is to be by, used by players, 
they put on stations and capital ships to make them harder targets. Uh, what else we got? Ship improvements. This is a very vague idea. I mean, I like multi crew ships and mouse controls. Okay, mouse control is not vague, but multi crew ships to be viable. I'm curious what they have in mind for how to do that. Company tools, that's good for the longevity of the game, even though I don't really play with other players all that much. Um, and I'd imagine many, many people don't, but it's really those big companies that keep, keep games going like this. Uh, spawning and reviving. Oh, that's, that's one thing that is on the PTU if you're just starting out. Um, if you die in the PTU, you're going to lose all the stuff that you had on you. It doesn't really matter so much because everything's kind of free in the PTU. I'm sorry, is it PTU? No, it's called STU now. Um, and so you will drop all that stuff until you have to get it again through the, the dev menu. You can see right here, you just press I, open your inventory, click on dev, and then you can get all sorts of tools and stuff. Uh, and then insurance transfer to station and capital. Okay, so then you should be able to easily get to oh, with infinite range. Hmm. Okay. All right. But one thing, you see this big caveat at the bottom here is that the, the live universe will be updated once these features are complete. So the flip side of that is that the live universe will not be updated until these features are complete. So we're going to have a significant amount of time where hopefully it's not more than a few months. I'm guessing it's gonna be probably about a year uh, where all of the new features will only be on the test universe. So the live universe will be as it is now and has been for years until then. So if you want to find bugs and help direct the game and where it's going to go, then please come and join the test universe. I think I'm still going to be doing some things on the live server just because I like the uh, how long lasting things are there. It's not like the, the test universe where everything's free and whatnot. So we'll see. I think this will be my last news kind of video for a while. Um, there are other people a little bit more English than me who can do these kind of videos more frequently and that seems to be their, their kind of game at this. So I'll get back to more, more interesting things, more doing stuff. I've got a few projects in the work right, works right now that I think you all will like. So don't forget to uh, unsubscribe, dislike the video, Go try out the test universe, and this was Xenocow signing off.